What's up everyone? This is Brad from UG here. Just gonna run through quickly the May Wine Club's kind of sword box. Um, so May is AAPI month for Asian American heritage. Um, so everything this month is gonna be either made by Asians, Asian Americans, or owned by them. Um, so yeah, it's a celebration of all things AAPI. Um, starting off with something a little different for the wine club. This is gonna be a sake, right? So it is a wine club, but sake in many ways has a lot of translation with wine. Aroma complexity, texture complexity, um, there's a care for it, there's a whole culture of it in Japan, as many of you know. This one is really unique. Um, Bride of the Fox has to do with like a local religious custom, actually, lights on a mountain kind of thing. Um, but what we're dealing with here is 50% rice polishing, so very clean, very fragrant, very mineral driven, and actually kind of a savory style. So this actually is not recommended to be served with fish, rather it's meant to be served with meat. And the brewer, Toji, who's been doing this for over, over 50 years, uh, recommends duck, pork loin, or black cod. So I'm gonna go with Toji on that. Uh, now moving along, we have this one here from the fine folks at Folk Machine. Um, also, they're the same ownership group that does Hobo Wine Co. So this is uh, Kenny Livet Prakong. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation, but he's the guy. He's the winemaker and owner. Um, this is going to be a white blend, mostly going to be Tokai Friulano in here. Interesting grape from Northern Italy. Shows a lot of saline qualities. So this one has like a nice kind of salty note. It's also got Riesling, Gewürztraminer, and Verdejo. So this is going to show a lot of citrus, tart green apple. It's picnic wine, right? It's beautiful. Uh, we love it. It's also like minimal intervention and very clean. So yeah, it's just wonderful in every way. Moving on now, we have an amazing Amazing Sonoma Pinot. This is CEP and this is coming from Pay Vineyards. So Pay Vineyards and CEP, same winemaker Vanessa Wong, really incredible woman. This is like a true second wine. So just to get into that briefly, a lot of wineries have younger vines or new oak barrels. They put what they feel is lower quality juice and then they bottle it as a second wine. This is totally different. This, are, this is the same fruit that would go into Pay Vineyards but rather they just don't feel that the style is right there. So it's not a quality judgment, it's just a flavor and a style judgment. And they uh, basically treat it the exact same way. It's not cheaper or less quality. Um, that's what they call CEP. So it's all paved in your fruit. It's just a slightly different style. Raspberry, violets, cracked black pepper. I'd pair this with duck. I'd pair this with brie. Just really stunning stuff. I'm like a resident Pinot nut, so this is for me. Um, and then finishing off, this is awesome. This is like the other side of the spectrum. We had a 2R here, jumping up to a 7R. This is made by two brothers, Bio and Pinto. Um, Bio is actually an MW, a master of wine. This is basically a PhD in wine. So you have to write a dissertation, defend that dissertation, do research. It's uh, very rigorous, and so yeah, the proof is in the pudding. This wine drinks so far up. I put this up against many Napa wines, two, three times the price, Bordeaux. It's earthy, it's got all sorts of varietals. I call it a kitchen sink blend. You got Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Verdot, Grenache. I mean, literally a little bit of everything. Flavors dynamic, red and blackberry fruits, spice, earth. Break out the grill, some steaks, some good friends, sunshine, it's a dream. You guys enjoy.